Hello internet, it's me, Dr. Sarah Tonks, all up in your YouTube grill today. Uh, we're going to be talking about something that's quite topical. It's summer, of course. We need to make a video about sunscreens. I did do one of these before, we will make a link to it in the down here section, should you wish to have a look. Because uh, today I'm going to be talking about some, I guess, you could call them myths. I think that's the right word for it, about the different types of sunscreens which are available. You know, everybody knows that we need to wear a sunscreen, yada yada, yes, even in the UK you need to wear a sunscreen, yes, even in the winter. Um, but did you know that, in my opinion, uh, the way that we have categorised the different sunscreens is a little bit, you know, non sciencey um, let's talk about how to make it a little bit more sciencey. So I'm sure you've heard of people referencing uh, physical and chemical sunscreens and it's often said, oh, you know, something like, I don't know, zinc or titanium will be in the uh, physical category and then you'll have stuff like tinazorb, octinoctate, etc. all over there in the chemical category. But what if I told you this is getting a bit matrix, but what if I told you that that's not an exactly very scientific way of looking at it? Because, you know, when you think about it, they're both physical, aren't they? You know, they both, they're both got a mass, they both exist, so they are both physical. It's not like, you know, they're existing on some weird ethereal plane of sunscreen somewhere without a physical presence. Um, and then they are both chemicals because they both have a chemical structure to them. So what if, Instead of doing that, we divided them up into organic and inorganic. I know what you're thinking, Sarah, this is not proved by the Soil Association or whatever. Well, that's because you're thinking about the word organic in marketing terms. You know, oh man, this juice is organic. It's like super good for you. Man, this kale is awesome. It's wicked organic. That's how you're thinking about it. But if you look at it from a chemistry point of view, organic means anything uh, which has got a carbon base to it. And inorganic means something that doesn't have carbon in it. So uh, zinc and titanium, they would be inorganic. Doesn't mean they're bad, they're very good. And also organic would be something like, you know, the octinoctates. It's often said that a organic or chemical sunscreen will work by absorbing the energy from the sun, whereas a physical or inorganic sunscreen will work by reflecting that radiation. Uh, yeah, kind of true, kind of. Um, so with the um, metal-based compounds, like zinc and titanium, um, they do work by reflecting the UVA, um, but they do absorb the UVB in a similar way to the, uh, the other lot that I'm about to talk about. So the organic or uh, chemical sunscreens, they will absorb the UV radiation and in doing so it changes the, the vibrational level or the um, energy level of that molecule which then changes the way that the, the carbons interact with each other. So they have to be stabilized with another compound, um, meaning that uh, this other compound will help them regain their original structure. And once it's kind of used up, if you like, then it's a lot harder for them to regain that original structure and then they don't work so well, which is pretty simple. I'll tell you guys one thing though. There has been some recent research which I have previously talked about actually, um, that the chemical or organic sunscreens act as hormone disruptors. I know what you're thinking, why should I care that these are hormone disruptors? Well, you should really care because something that um, disrupts your androgen metabolism or your estrogen metabolism, or even uh, in some cases, uh, your, your thyroid hormone, it's not gonna be good for your body's um, homeostasis, it's not going to be good for your body's balance, so it's going to have impact on fertility, it will have an impact on things like your weight, obesity, diabetes, um, all that's bad stuff, right? I mean, you know, I'm not saying that if you use a chemical sunscreen it's going to make you fat, but you know, hey, 
I could use all the help that I could get to be honest so I don't know about you that's why I'm avoiding sunscreens which contain these products <laughs> speaking of which let's talk about the ones that I use so um, I have here yes this one um, we've got the Illumiae Sheer Hydration Versatile Tint so this is a uh, completely inorganic um, sunscreen with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and it's also got a nice colour to it so you know I'm a bit lazy I don't like uh, messing around too much in the bathroom before I go to work just slap a bit of this on and it gives me a very good coverage um, for my makeup if I'm ever in the mood to wear makeup and it's also SPF 40 you know what's not to like there if you're looking for something that's a bit more matte they do also have a matte product and also untinted too should you wish to go down the untinted route okay guys so that's all we've got time for this week I hope you enjoyed the video and if you've got any questions about sunscreens just let me know in the comment section below don't forget to smash onto that subscribe button please subscribe to my channel every time you don't subscribe another youtuber dies and please like the video okay 